And this is us. I want to go home. Hey, you've read all the books, you've taken antenatal class, you're fine, OK? This is real. Yeah, and baby needs to stay nice and calm, OK, G? That's easy for you to say. You're not the one that's got to push out a bowling ball through a keyhole. Bowling ball? It's going to be more like a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get you unpacked and then get some tea and biscuits, yeah? That morning, two months ago, I was bricking it. Yeah, I could tell. I couldn't have done this without you. Don't underestimate yourself. Is that him? Are you sure? It's just the two of us now. OK. <clears throat> All right, so this might be it. OK, nice, big, deep breaths. You got this, Jude, OK? And if you want to scream and shout, you just go ahead. No one's going to mind. Morning, Rob. Morning, Zara. How are you? Better. Now I'm back and ready to do my duty. No second thoughts? No. So, is DC Hazelwood ready for me? You're with me today, Dr Carmichael. D.I. Stanton, I've taken over the case. OK. I was hoping to speak to you earlier. I've been away. Ah, anyone nice? Western Superman. I don't know, then. Shall we? Interview rooms. Just through here. I know. Rob? How much longer? You're getting really close. I bet you were a perfect patient. Are you joking? That was a nightmare with my first. I insisted on a natural birth and then I screamed for an epidural and I did threaten to punch my midwife. Promise I won't do that? Yeah, we'll see. Were you scared? You bet. And then I held him in my arms and it was all worth it. But there was nothing wrong with your babies? No, and all your scans have been normal, Jude. But they don't show everything, do they? If something's wrong with her. Like what? Is this something that you've not told me? No. Your boyfriend? He's nothing to do with us. OK. I just need to be away from him. Far away. Do you know, you never told me, so I didn't ask you, but did he ever hurt you? I think I'm ready for that gas. Right. OK. Yeah. yeah? Just a sec. Something's wrong. No, no, it's fine. Jude, uh, Denise is just going to look after you for a bit, OK? Popping out. She's on gas now. Hey, hello. Can I help you? Jude Gilmore. i got to see her. And you are? Father, Aaron. Right, um, I'm sorry, I can't give you any information about anybody who may or may not she's be... She's having my baby. Right, well, even if she is here, I do need her permission. I know she's here. I put tracker software on her phone. Does she know that? She needs me. OK, if she wanted you here, you would... Tell me she's OK. OK, I think you do need to... I ain't going nowhere. All right. Tell her I'm here. Come on. Please. Six foot, 150 pounds. Got a good eye for detail. It comes in useful in my job. I said about the signature, the better. Excuse me? Doctor's handwriting. So, let's go through the events of that night again. Is that really necessary? DC Hazelwood said you struggled with your initial statement. There was one moment of confusion. Well, in a trial, that could mean the difference between conviction and acquittal. I'll start at the beginning, shall we? Here. You need to save your energy. He texted, he said he's outside. OK, nice deep breath in. And out. That's it. What does he want? He cannot get in without your permission. But how did he find me? Right, let's just relax and focus on this baby. Mm. Yes? OK. OK, that's good. It's all right. He just seems so nice in his messages. 
Yeah, sometimes men lie to get in your knickers, Valerie. I just can't believe someone would be so vile, so utterly oblivious to someone else's feelings. He's a total slime ball. Mm. Ah, luckily, I had someone to ride to my rescue. What? Yesterday. You were magnificent. Oh, I cannot abide a bully. Well, just when I was ready to write the whole lot off, you proved to me that not all men are animals. Well, it says something when a small act of chivalry is of note. Who knew that beneath all that corduroy and knitwear beats the heart of a hero? Mm. All right, chill out. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson? And I'm really sorry for talking you into it. Online dating's a total minefield. Yeah, well, you don't have to worry. I am never visiting that website again. Good. Coffee, pastry? Oh, well, if you insist. I'll bring it through. Um, frothy milk. Oh, nothing is too much trouble for the man who saved my honour. Thank you. What's wrong? Maybe he's fine. Promise. Yeah. Her heart rate is just uh, a little low. Knew it. It's nothing to worry about, okay? Because we're going to monitor her. Is she going to be okay? Mm. She's going to be here to meet you soon. Aaron. But he can't get in. I need him here. Right, look, Jude, you're doing so well on your own. Please, Ruma. So, Reese Lonsdale, you hadn't met him before that night? I don't think so. OK. So you helped a man you didn't know even after his attacker threatened you with a knife? Well, I wasn't going to leave him to die on the ground. I do keep replaying the events of that night over and again in my head. That's natural. And there are a couple of things that have come back to me. I don't know if they're important. Every detail is important. OK, well, there was a smell on the assailant's clothes. Cannabis. Skunk, probably. OK. And your colleague asked me if he was wearing any jewellery, and I didn't remember until later, but there was a glint of light, a, a watch, I think, with a metal strap, I think. Silver? Gold? Silver. Anything distinctive about the dial? It was just a glimpse. OK. Anything else? Sorry, no. Have you actually arrested anyone? We're pursuing various lines of inquiry. Do you have any suspects? Can't tell you that. Because you haven't made any progress? Because you're a witness. I can't say anything to you that might taint your evidence. But if you wanted to help, there is something you could do. Anything? Well, you've given a good description of the assailant, but if you could put it into an e-fit. Well, I tried my best, so I will try. I can come back again tomorrow. Will you fit artists here? I'll fetch him in. OK, you got one chance. You cause her any extra stress, and I will have you removed, father or no father. Yes? Yeah. I heard you the first time. Hey. How did you find me? I'm here for you. That's all that matters. Nobody knew. Your phone. I can track it. What? I was worried about you. Jude, let's see how dilated you are, OK? What? You've known where I was all this time. Why didn't you come to the flat? I didn't want to freak you out. Uh, no. You were waiting till I was desperate. Or I wouldn't turn you away. I wanted to be here for you. OK, Jude. Jude, you're fully dilated, all right? What does that mean? She's coming to see you now. So, with the next contraction, I need you to start pushing, all right? We can do this. <sighs> OK, OK, nearly there. But um, can we go back, the ones we had before? Oh, no, I was right first time. Those are too small. Can we try these ones, but wider apart? Oh, no, no, that is not right at all. Slow down, Doctor. There's no rush. No, I'm not rushing. I just want to get this right. Can we take a break? Um, just go back. <laughs> OK. All right. <laughs> See? I'm <laughs> oh, You've done it, darling. You've done it. That's it. OK. 
told you you could do it. Right. I told you you could do it. Here we go. It's all right. She's fine. She's fine. Yeah. Is she alright? She's a perfect little girl. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Oh, no, you didn't press the cappuccino button. Unfortunately, yes. How are you finding him? Stanton. You'd probably expect me to say charming, handsome. But actually? Oh, I'm sure he'll make Chief Constable. He puts as much effort into catching criminals as he does on personal grooming. <laughs> you having doubts? No, not about giving evidence. I thought I'd be better at this. I mean, eyes are eyes. How many different shapes can there be? It's harder than it looks. I thought that going away was going to help, but if anything, it's made me doubt myself even more. You witnessed an attempted murder, so your instincts would have kicked in. Fight or flight. Your brain would have been thinking about survival, not the colour of someone's eyes. Stanton wants me to try again. In my experience, your first instincts are normally right. So don't doubt yourself. Thanks, Rob. And we'll do our best to look after you. What makes you think I need looking after? Ready, Doctor? Let's go. Beautiful. We can do this. Aaron. Be a family. Nothing's changed. Get a job. Flat. It won't work. Aaron. This is our new start. Why don't we just take things easy, yeah? We can move. A town where no one knows you us. You think it's that easy? Why shouldn't we be happy? You know why. Aaron, why don't we give Jude the baby back? Why don't you butt out? Aaron, please. I don't want to call security, OK? Why would you do that? I think I'd hurt my own kid. Why would you... What have you told her? Nothing. Then why is she looking at me like I'm a monster? What? No, 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 you can't say that. Who do you think you are? Hey! What's up? I'm just checking Valerie's dating profile. Oh. She's not gone back on her promise already, has she? It's the comment section which is the problem. Read this. Looks like a crazy cat lady on steroids. She might be a cheap date. Wonder what she'd do for a saucer of milk. That is so rude. Right, well, let's see how he likes a taste of his own medicine. What are you doing? How do you deal with a troll? Ignore them. Yeah, that's a tried and tested method of dealing with bullies, isn't it? Yeah, well, there's no point trying to reason with them, is there? No, it's like they don't even get their hands dirty. They just hide behind their anonymity. They would do if they hadn't picked on someone who was pals with a legendary troll slayer. But how if you don't even know their real names? Mm, don't need to. If they use the same nom de plume on other sites, like, say, a social media site, then we just search for that and... Oh! What have we found here? Mad Mickey 86. Oh, you can see all his family and friends. Oh, yeah. So now we can post one of his vile comments for all his family to see. <laughs> Nailed him. <laughs> Wonder what Granny Jill's going to think when she finds that bit of bile in her inbox. Well, I think Mad Mickey 86 is off her Christmas card list, don't you? <laughs> Revenge! <laughs> you don't know how rubbish our lives were? Then tell me. What? You've already made up your mind about me? You stalked your pregnant girlfriend who ran away from you. Not because I hurt her. Jude, tell her. This can't work. you got to see that. Like I've known you all my life. That's what you said. We had no one. Your mum had too many other kids to look after. I was brought up in care. So when we found each other, Jude. Yeah, it was special. 
And when you showed me the pregnancy test, I was so excited. You were petrified? Only because I didn't want to turn out like my old man. I thought having our own kid, we could forget about all Aaron, of that. Aaron, stop. I thought you trusted her. Yeah, I do. You'd rather she thought I'd beat up women than know the truth. And that is? She wanted to take me home. Full security. What? I want him gone. OK, you can leave on your own or you will be helped. Babe, come on, you don't mean this. OK, all right. Do you... hey. Don't make things worse. Worse? Like what? Like having to walk away from the only person I've ever loved? All right, Aaron, you need to calm don't down. Don't you get it? She didn't run away because she's scared of me. She's scared of us. Aaron! Meet my mum. That's what you said. I hadn't seen her for 15 years, but it was her. The woman that put me into care. Yeah. Different fathers, same mother. You think we're disgusting? No. There are good medical reasons why incest is against the law. We couldn't get rid of her. No way. Why did you run away then? Hormones were all over the place. I needed to get my head straight, decide what to do. You could have talked to me. You just want to pretend that we're a normal couple. If what we did was so bad, how do we make something so beautiful? If we tell the truth, promise not to have sex, will they let us keep our baby? Of course they won't. Honestly, I... I don't know. I thought I could do this on my own. But I can't. I'm gonna give you both some time together, OK? What's wrong? Um, I... Barry, tell me my 1.30's late. Mrs. Hooten. Oh, crikey. There goes my cigarette break. Oh, never mind, Dr. Haskey. Mm. Or should I say Aragon? Okay. Son of Arathon, King of Gondor. You, 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 you went back on that website? Only to delete my profile and then I saw what you'd upload. No, no, I, I only did that as a joke. Yeah. yeah, well, I think it's really brave. You know, putting yourself out there, especially after what happened to me. I'm not putting myself out there. Whatever you say. I don't suppose there's any chance you're going to forget this conversation, is there? No, not really. Would you like to see your matches? I would. Well, I took the liberty of looking through the women seeking men, and I think I found the perfect woman for well, you. There is no such creature. She's your age. Good for her. And um, get this, she runs her own microbrewery. No, I'm not interested. Uh, and, oh, it also says that she speaks fluid Klingon. So that shows she's got a good GSOH. No, no, thank you. Uh, your Arwen could be just a click away. Valerie, you did not go on that website. You did not see my profile. You're not going to mention this to anybody. Is that clear? Mm. Mrs. Hurton! Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> When can we get out of here? Well, we need to make sure that Mum's OK and the baby's feeding properly. Get on with it. Jude, you know that I only want what's best for you and the baby, yes? But you are going to need support. We can manage. We'll love her so much. OK. And what if something goes wrong, Aaron? I mean, she's a picture of health now, but 
some genetic disorders, they don't show themselves for a few months, even years. She could still get ill? Yeah. We'll take her to the hospital. What, when you are in hiding? She's just trying to scare you. Let's hear her out. Please. Well, I... Hello, Jude. Aaron. Sorry, Rima, I waited as long as I could. Who are you? Maggie Liston. I work for the hospital. I'm the duty social worker. Oh, that's just great. What have you done? Well? I'm going with my first instincts. But if you're not sure about the eyes? No, if these are the ones I keep coming back to. You definitely don't want another go? No, I've done my best. If you've got any doubts... No, this is my best shot. OK, hold on. Do I get a gold star? Should we move on? Are you going to take her away? I have a duty of care towards you and your baby. Yeah, right. Let's just keep things calm. We're out of here. If you do that, the courts will have no choice but to take the child off you. They'll have to find us first. And I'll have to inform the police. We'll be long gone. What if we stay? And trust them. If we did everything you asked, we can keep our baby. Any decision will be down to the court. I'll organise a hearing for tomorrow at the latest. We'll be there. If Sister Carter thinks you're fit enough to leave, you can. But your baby won't be discharged till after the hearing. What? And then we can take her home. All this will be discussed at the hearing. In the meantime, I have some forms to Are fill Are you going to tell them what the hearing is for? The hearing is to discuss what facts we put before the court. Like what? Are you still having a physical relationship? No. We love our kid. What else does anyone need to know? There are background checks that need to be made. I need to talk to other departments. How long before a final ruling? It could take months. And our baby? She'll be placed in temporary foster care. No. Just until the courts decide who she should stay with long term. In the meantime, you'll be able to visit in a contact centre. Together? That's unlikely. Rima, what do we do? You're going to listen to her. I know this is going to be hard, but you need to do what your parents didn't do, and you put your child first. Yeah. Can we have a private word? The sooner you answer the question, the sooner you can go. Have I ever had any association with gangs? I thought you were joking. Humour me. <sighs> Fine. Years ago, some girls and I... Well, we set some fires. You committed arson? I don't like to talk about it, but I was involved with one of the biggest gangs in the country. Oh, the brownies. Very good. The girl guides. Shall I show you my campfire badge? <coughs> what about your patients? Are some of them girl guides? Anyone could walk into your surgery. A member of the same gang, how would you know? Well. We have security procedures in place if we feel uncomfortable with any of our patients. Anyway, how are they going to find me? You told Rish your name. Only Zara. And that you were a doctor. I was trying to reassure him. And the assailant was long gone. Anyway, he's not going to come looking for me. Why not? Because he will have gone back into hiding under whatever rock he crawled out from. We're going to fight this. How? By doing everything they want. <laughs> By being the best parents we can be. If they let us. She needs a name. Jennifer Rose. <laughs> Normally, we try to keep the child with at least one of the birth parents. But this isn't a normal situation, Maggie. One day, someone's going to have to tell their daughter about how she was conceived. 
Okay. How about I help organise um, a care network, multi-agency? Everybody working together to monitor and support them. Is, is it really fair that they're punished for something that isn't their fault? I've never dealt with anything like this before, so honestly, I don't know if that's going to be enough. But you let me try. No, no! Call security! Security, please. I need to report a missing baby. I know your face. Yes. And you're sure he didn't say anything else? Positive. Finished. Thank you for your cooperation, Dr Carmichael. Your evidence is going to be vital in this case. You have to catch him first. And at which point you're going to have to face him in court. I've given evidence before. Not in a murder case. You think I'm scared, don't you? No. Then why does everyone keep asking me if I'm going to testify? We just want to be sure. You concentrate on your job. I can take care of myself. I don't doubt that for one minute. Thank you for coming in, Dr Carmichael. Katie Gershwitz, Mission Facilitator. Hello, Dr. Thea. Hi. You all think you're so cool! Oh, oh. Yeah, it's so cool, he's off me now! <laughs> we should report this to Mrs. Tenby. And say what? There were these three skeletons. Looking good, girlfriend. Work it. <laughs>